So I'll do my best to guide you for easy days, tempo days, long run days. Here I come. Here I come. Road. See, I have to hit record, and then I have like four tripods, and then I've got these guys rocking those, of course. So I got to shimmy through here. It's a little bit of a, a little bit of a situation. Hello, road running shoe matrix mid 2022 upright hand corner. Did you see the early road running shoe matrix 2022? I will do another matrix probably October, November, because yes, uh, in this matrix is being totally transparent at the beginning. There's no Nova Blast 3 shout out. There's no Rebel V3 shout out. There's no uh, more Fresh Foam More V4 shout out. What else? Uh, there's no Alpha Fly 2. There's, the, the list goes on and on. I just haven't been able, Bondi 8 just arrived. I haven't been able to test those shoes. Uh, most, well, volume of shoes arriving, but of course, the crutches. So bear with me. Imagine, put yourself in these shoes. If you're a new runner, sorry, if you're a veteran runner for the new runners out there, if you arrive in a running shoe store and you look at the wall of running shoes, it is, it's even to this day, I get a little overwhelmed. Now I feel much, much more comfortable. But even like five years ago, before I started doing running shoe reviews, it was overwhelming. And I'm just gonna, I mean, ah, oh, don't get me started on the, the wall of running shoes in running shoe stores because I just think it's uh, it's not it's not conducive to making a sound choice because it's, there's just too many shoes to choose from. I digress. That is why we make the matrix box, okay? So I'll do my best to guide you for easy days, tempo days, long run days, et cetera, et cetera. And I'll give you my favorite shoe for each category. And then also question of the day, this, is, this might go a little philosophical down in the comments. What was the main reason you bought your last running shoe? Huh? So you could take this a lot of different directions and which shoe was it? What was the main reason you bought your last running shoe? All right, so you could get technical or you could kind of go dreamy pie in the sky type of answer down below. Here we go, soft and high cushion for your easy training, your recovery training, no doubt about it, it still remains the New Balance Fresh Foam More V3. Keeping in mind, the V4 is coming out in about a month. All right, I don't know when you're watching this, but September 20, and again, these are all linked down below in the description, uh, September 2022. Sound good? Moving on, firm landing. Some people do prefer this. It's not me, but some people do prefer a firm landing for easy or recovery days. You're looking at the Saucony Axon 2. That was the shoe that jumped out at me in the last six months for a little bit of a firmer midsole, okay? Moving on, ground contact feel. Woo, Kinvara 13 all day long. Love, love, love the Kinvara 13. Responsive and snappy, you know what it is. The Asics Noosa Tri 14, definitely a tweener alert for the Noosa in, uh, and I said it correctly, I think, Asics Noosa Tri 14 is my, it does have that, the, the midsole, actually, let's, let's, let's do it. Where is it? It's an eight shoe, 100%. Highest score of 20, almost, yeah. It's just like, it's a, see, look at that snap. It just snaps back to its original, uh, size or original position. There we go. And last but not least, I'm sticking with it. Now, this is one of those shoes that is actually waiting to be tested. It's the Nike Zoom X Invincible Run Flyknit 2. Uh, but I haven't tested the two. I have put it on my feet and it feels very similar to the one. All right. So either the one or the two, the uppers are pretty similar as well. There are some changes, but anyway, the Nike Zoom X Invincible Run Flying it too for energy return and bounce. That Zoom X, it's crazy how bouncy it is. Wild, 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 wild. Moving on to the daily trainer category for soft and high cushion, new bounce. So daily trainer, those are those steezy and steady days. For me about, uh, you know, uh, it's, it's really like seven minutes to 7.30 a mile, 7.45 a mile, in that range. New Balance 1080 V12 all day long, all right? Sticking with for a firm landing, yes indeed, sticking with it, Adidas SL 20.3. I actually really enjoyed that shoe, the, and it's affordable, all right? Look at these prices on your screen, I mean, 
Thank, thank you. I mean, that's a great, great score. Sorry, great, great price point. Moving on to ground contact feel. Tweener alerts. Saucony Kinvara 13. Once again, one of my favorite, actually here it is, one of my favorite shoes thus far in 2022. And another one responsive and snappy for the Asics Noosa Tri-14. You see, um, for easy days and daily trainers, there are some that are just like, mm, it's like perfect for crossing over. But again, it's, it's all about listening to your body and your feet and how your feet and I'll also say that the surfaces that you're running on, okay? So keep that in mind. And last but not least, energy return. A little, okay, it's not as bouncy as you might expect. Where is it, where is it? The Mach 5 from, I can't believe it. Where did it go? There it is, Hoka Mach 5 all day long. Softer durometer, which is why it's getting that energy return and bounce for me in 2022. Hoka Mach 5, again, I think we were looking at eight out of 10. That's why it's over in this shelf right there moving on tempo day all right picking up the paces aka the fart lick day all right so you want to do a fart lick two minutes on one minute off three minutes on two minutes off whatever you're doing out there just picking up the pace getting that turnover going soft and high cushion is that new balance fresh foam tempo v2 so so soft Thank you, New Band. I appreciated the shoe. Not, you know, I'm a little sad about the Beacon line kind of being dwindled away, but uh, we'll go Tempo V2 for soft and high cushion. Firm landing, Evo Ride 3. That's a sleeper shoe. I know I'm always talking about the Noosa, but I'm telling you, the Evo Ride 3, very lightweight, snappy, great construction quality. I don't think I, I was, I don't think it's out here, but, or down here. Responsive. Endorphin, oh my goodness, I think it's gone as well. Endorphin Speed 3. It's actually at a photo shoot, everybody. Endorphin Speed 3 from Saucony. All day long, Saucony Endorphin Speed 3 for Tempo Day if you're looking for responsive and snappy, keeping in mind it has the nylon plate in that midsole. Mm, so, so good. Tweener alert, energy return. Back to the Mach 5 in all day long. Back to the Mach 5 all day long for energy return or a little bit of bounce. Keeping in mind, I have not tested the Nova Blast 3. I wouldn't be shocked in the next matrix if the Nova Blast 3 bumps the Mach 5 out of that position. Yeah? All right, sound good. Threshold, uh, so threshold is hard running. Uh, oh, you could also put it into the intervals if you're doing intervals on a road or a, you know, a yeah, section of sidewalk or wherever you're doing your, you know, I, I don't say track because it depends on the stack height. You don't want too high a stack height on a track because of the, you know, you're turning. Um, some, some shoes can do it, but some shoes it's just like a little loosey goosey. And again, depending on your foot strike and the strength of your ankles, okay? So threshold days, race days, interval days, and I'm leaning more in the direction, and keep in mind, I'm leaning toward road, not like track. I'm not talking about track, I'm talking about road, okay? So soft and high cushion, endorphin speed three, once again, looking at um, the Brooks, this is crazy, firm. Brooks Hyperion Elite 3. Whoa, shocker, I chose that one, but if you I that midsole just came across firm to me. I'm actually thinking out loud right now, I'd probably put the Adidas Audios Pro 3 as another option. Okay, just got it through the twist test. Again, it's just it's it's, it's a it's well built, but uh, definitely on the firmer side for the landing. Okay, there you have it. New Balance Fresh Foam Tempo V2 for ground contact. All right, once again, Saucony Endorphin Pro 3. There you go. So again, very lean midsole for that ground contact. Very lean midsole. So it uh, wouldn't be my first option, that's that's for sure. But if you like ground contact, there you go. Uh, then Endorphin Pro 3 from Saucony for pretty much my favorite 2022 carbon fiber plate shoe year to date. Okay, Saucony Endorphin Pro 3 for responsive and snappy. But, but, you know I had to go there. Nike Next Percent 2. I still would choose it over that guy if I was racing a peak marathon, which is why it's landing in the energy return category for threshold, aka race day. I just, you know, and I haven't tested the Alpha Fly 2 yet. So, I don't know. I don't, but I gotta say, um... I think Saucony is, is, is making really good progress, okay? More so, I'll just say, than Adidas or Asics. For me, 
in 2022. I love, and in fact, raise your hand in the comments, who has picked up the Endorphin Pro 3? I know a lot of people over in Discord have already shared that they picked this shoe up, so let me know in the comments if you have already picked that shoe up. Onward we go. Last but not least, middle distance and long run days. We all got to get those runs in, those long runs in. Here we go. New Balance Fresh Foam More V3. Tweener. All right. A6 Glide Ride 3. Oh, I'm sad I didn't grab that one. I'd actually, it's up in my car. A6 Glide Ride 3 for a firmer. Love that shoe. A6 Glide Ride 3. Firmer landing, but it, uh, the technology in the midsole is designed to reduce the flexion of your ankle, which based on their research and their science, their, yeah, in their labs, helps reduce the amount of work you're putting into your lower, especially your lower legs, like your calves, your soleus area, uh, reducing that ankle. It, I love, I, lo I love the Glide Ride 1. Two was good. And I think they came back with a vengeance with a three. All right, so Aces Glide Ride 3. Skechers Go Run Ride 10 for ground contact. Here it is uh, for a long run. I would, I would do it a, a long run in it. I really would. It's not like epic, epic, but I would do a lot. And if you like a little slimmer uh, midsole, there you go. Uh, Skechers Go Run Ride 10. And very comfortable upper, might I add. Oh, another Skechers Razor XS2. Come on now. Yes, there it is for responsive and snappy. I love this shoe. Now, I'm sensing the midsole is a little dead or a little past its prime at this point, but man, that hyperburst right out of the box, really, really love it. Skechers Razor XS2. And good prices for Skechers, as always. And last but not least, for energy return for the long run, of course, going... See, the Norman Speed 3, it didn't get the highest score for me uh, for its final review, final score. Uh, but it, and it's probably because it crosses over almost too much to being too good at too many different things, meaning it's not niche down enough in what is it good, like what is one thing it's good for? Because what did it get? Three categories, I think. So again, another tweener for a good all-arounder. And listen, some people don't want plates in their midsole, which is fine. So that's one reason they're opting for uh, the mock, the Nova, the future Rebel, uh, just depending, yeah, just if they just don't prefer. Now it's a nylon plate, it's not a carbon fiber. Aces Glide Ride 3 for the win. Actually, let's go through them. New Balance Fresh Foam More V3 for easy. Uh, Daily Trainer, Asics Noosa Tri-14. Tempo, Saucony Endorphin Speed 3. Threshold, still that Nike Next% percent 2. And Middle Distance or Long Run would be the Asics Glide Ride 3 for me. Okay, I know that was fast. And the key is to go to the full reviews listed below. Hopefully I'll list all of them if they give me enough space down below uh, to do so if you really wanna dive deeper. Again, running shoe walls in running shoe stores can just be a little overwhelming at times. So hopefully that gives you a little guidance as to really the favorite shoes out there early into mid 2022 for road running. DGR, let's do this. Oh yeah, by the way, I just want to give a shout out to Soul, uh, let's see, Soul Roots Running Company. Thank you for sending me this singlet. I think they were from Georgia, maybe Florida, but anyway, shout out to them. Thank you for the singlet. Onward we go to that comment of the day. I believe it's uh, maybe from, um, from Italy, Pietro. Thank you for watching from Italy. He said, he, oh yeah, this was from the last Matrix vlog. Again, linked upper right hand corner down below. Here's my running shoe rotation. Invincible Run Fly Knit for easy and recovery. Brilliant. Endorphin Speed 2 for progressive and fart licks. Brilliant. New Balance RC Elite V2. Nice. I like that. Oh man. Yeah, where is that shoe? Hmm, I thought it was still here, but maybe not. Um, good choice. Vaporfly Next% percent 2 for threshold workouts and long runs. Pietro, you and me, man, we are on the same wavelength. Uh, other shoes I randomly use just to have some different feelings are the Pegasus 37 and the Alpha Fly. Pietro, you get the comment of the day. Onward we go. Again, another Matrix coming out two or three, uh, two or three months from now. We will toss it to the last Matrix. I am amazed how many, we have done a lot of Matrix vlogs and actually I have a playlist with all the Matrix vlogs. Um, I'll try to, all this is gonna be linked below in the description. That's a, today's a good day to go to the description. Right there, right there, right there. All right, seek beauty, work hard.
and love each other. See you tomorrow.